time. I'll give you a chance. I, I would love to hear from you. What's your definition of integrity? So if you've written your name already and tell us uh, where you're uh, watching this from and interacting with us, would you give us in the chat, what's your definition for integrity? What do you think integrity is? It's our topic for today. So write it in the chat. Um, don't Google it. Just give us your own perspective on what integrity is for, uh, for you. Hello, everyone. Good to see. Okay, we have this here. Good. Integrity is doing the same thing when no one is watching you as when they are. Yeah, great definition. Who else could share? What's your definition of integrity? More people from Romania, Galats, welcome, Mihai. Good to see you. Uh, integrity, difficult because fear appears. Uh, yeah, it's very true. Not necessarily a um, definition of, of integrity, but definitely true. Doing what's right, even when you have little support. Great. Thank you, Ana Maria. Um, somebody else, what's your definition of integrity? Tell us hi and uh, where you're from, your city, your country. Continuing to do the right thing, even when it's hard to do it. Integrity, great. Good job, guys. So since uh, we're, we're still going to uh, wait for some people to, to join us, uh, right now we're about 89 participants. Welcome, everybody. My name is Elvis, Elvis Filote. I know my mom liked Elvis Presley way too much. Uh, so that's how I got the, the name. Uh, I work with Leader Impact. I also uh, own a business in, in training and coaching. And I love Let's Talk. I love it because it's an opportunity to meet, as I said, uh, leaders from all over Europe. Uh, we're, tonight we're here leaders from about 14 countries uh, in Europe. And it's a great way for us to share best practices, share ideas, get to know each other, do some networking and uh, really interact on, on important topics, especially in, in the circumstances we're, we're dealing with right now. So let me tell you a little bit about Leader Impact and what we do, a little bit about this evening and uh, the meeting tonight, and then we'll get to, to interact a bit more and get to know our, our uh, presenter, our speaker. So a bit about Leader Impact. I'm sure you've interacted with some of us, but um, we're passionate about two things and you can guess them from, from our name, the name, our brand. We're passionate about leaders and helping leaders grow professionally, personally, and spiritually. Um, basically, we, we will do everything that would help us really become better leaders, uh, leading our families better, leading ourselves, but also leading our companies. But we're also passionate about impact. We are passionate about uh, helping the communities, uh, helping transform our countries, even our, our cities. So you will hear us a lot talking about how we can grow as leaders, how we can build successful businesses and lead effective performant teams. But you're also gonna hear us talk a lot about how do we impact our communities, our uh, teams, our countries, even our cities. So um, again, really great to, to see everybody, really excited for what's gonna happen tonight. Let me tell, share with you just a few logistics so that we are going to make our, our meeting really successful and, uh, and pleasing for, for everyone. I already talked to you about Leader Impact. Uh, I just want to remind you to keep yourself muted um, while the, the speaker or somebody else is, is talking. Uh, it's really going to make the experience pleasant for everyone. So make sure you pay attention to your mute button. Sometimes we have uh, had people, you know, not pay attention and make noise and disturb the speaker. We don't want that tonight. Also, I want to announce to you that we're going to have translation tonight in four languages. So if you want to hear this and also benefit from a translator, uh, please, right here, you're going to see 
the button on the bottom right, interpretation. For Czech, if you want to listen to a translation in Czech, please choose German. Unfortunately, uh, Zoom doesn't allow us to uh, put Czech or our, our languages, so we have to play with it a little bit. So for Czech, please choose German. For Ukrainian, select Russian. Uh, for Albanian, Spanish. And for Romanian, French. And I'm going to put this in the chat as well, so it's easy for you to, to see it. Okay, so um, interpretation available. Um, translation, just choose the right language. If you want to hear all of them, you can play with the button. Uh, so have fun with translation. By the way, thank you so much for our translators. Would you use the reaction button and give them a clap? I would really appreciate that. They're doing a great job and serving us really well. Um, so tonight, we're gonna have two parts. Um, we're gonna hear from the speaker first and interact with uh, Ruben Marian. And then we're gonna have time to break into small groups. Um, the way we're gonna do it is we will ask a few questions. I'll ask Ruben a few questions. Then Ruben's gonna share a few things about integrity and success from the perspective of his own personal story, uh, his own um, business story and experience. So we'll 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 do that, and then uh, we'll you'll have a chance to to uh, ask some questions. So I will invite you to just write in the chat as you listen to. Ruben and maybe something he says spurs of questions. Um, you you have something that you would like to to ask Ruben. Write in in the chat, and after he's done, we'll select a few questions. Uh, we would love to 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 really answer all of your questions. Probably there's not enough time for that. But please write your question in the chat, and we will do our best to answer it. And it's also going to help Ruben kind of know what you're interested to hear more. Uh, as he as he presents. Um, then this time we're going to do something different. So instead of breaking into groups and coming everybody all together, we decided to do something different. We're going to have breakouts, but they're going to be um, on different languages. So Romanians, those that registered and wanted to be in a small group on a language, uh, Romania, they will all go together, but we'll you will have to look in, in your chat after we're done with the questions and look for the Zoom link because you're going to be transferred to a different Zoom link, okay? So breakouts will take place uh, in different Zoom links or Zoom rooms. Uh, for English, for those that want to uh, stay in an English small group, you can stay here. For the other ones, you will see in the chat, we will post the different look, uh, Zoom links for each country. So Romania is gonna have its own Zoom link, Czech, uh, Ukraine, and so on. Just uh, after we're done with questions, pay attention and make sure you're, uh, you're watching for the Zoom link that you wanna be. Again, for English, you can stay. And um, in that room, we're all gonna come back after the breakout, uh, back to your own Zoom link room and uh, interact more. So it's going to be a great opportunity in breakouts, not only to go deeper and share best practices, ideas on how you're applying some of the principles that Ruben is, has talked about, but it's also a great uh, opportunity for us to network and get to know each other. So one more thing, uh, it would be great to rename yourself, put your name, also your city and country, and that way it's going to be really easy for us when we break into small groups to know where everybody's from and we'll focus most of our interaction on uh, on just uh, asking questions and, and interacting with others on the topic. With that being said, uh, sorry if I bored you with all that uh, logistics, but they're important. Uh, again, a reminder, remind, be reminded to pay attention to your mute button, stay muted. So we're not gonna interrupt or disrupt the interaction. Um, 
So for now, we, we would love to know where you stand in regards to success and integrity, and we'll do a poll. And Rich is that actually going to help us. Uh, you will see a poll appear on your screen. And please select uh, which affirmation, which statement describes you best. Keep voting. Great job, job guys. We're over 60% of you that have voted. Keep voting and, and share with us what your opinion is. Who do you think um, describes your perspective on how does integrity go with success? Great job. Keep voting. Great way to, to see how, where we are and what our perspective is about this. Again, as you keep voting, I wanna say Welcome to everyone that has, has joined our, our webinar. It's really great to, to see all of you. And I can't wait for um, our time to interact. Thank you for those who voted. If uh, I'll just uh, leave it for 10 more seconds. If you wanna vote, please do it now. And it looks like 80%, 88% of us believe that integrity will lead us to long-term success in our business, but there is a price to be paid and uh, we may face opposition, but a person of integrity can achieve great. 10% of us believe that if you want to have success in your business, you will be able to have integrity in some areas of your life, but in other areas, you're gonna have to compromise some of your values. And only 1% believe that they're totally incompatible integrity and success don't work together. Thank you again uh, to all of you for voting. It's a great way to, to see where we stand and uh, what we believe about, about the topic tonight. Great. We can end the poll now. And guys, we're, we're going to interact on really the, the topic of, of tonight. Um, so let me introduce to you um, Okay, make sure. Does everybody see my screen? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right, let me introduce to you a little bit more about Ruben. I have met uh, and known Ruben for a few years now. And uh, I gotta tell you, um, yes, he, he has uh, founded four companies, Util Ben. Uh, you're gonna hear more about the story of him and Juana starting this. They're a great, couple and um, they make great business partners together. And it's amazing what they have built together. But I wanna share with you just a, a few more things about Ruben. He is a very driven guy. Uh, he loves great challenges and uh, there's very little that stops him when he, he wants to pursue something. He actually started uh, his business uh, pretty young and uh, he went and uh, pitched about his business in, in um, uh, television. Um, you probably are familiar with the lion's den. So he went together with his father and pitched his business in, in that uh, television um, series in Romania. And um, he's also the founder of, of three other businesses, Regivero, Agriben, Regivero um, offers products for hair, um, and uh, Agriben offers um, products and services in bio agriculture, and they built the first um, platform, auction platform in, uh, in Romania. 
and uh, they have done that last year. So it's amazing to see what Ruben is, is doing. He's investing in other leaders. He's a, 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 a person very dedicated to excellence. And uh, it's fun to be around Ruben because whenever you talk to him, he's a visionary leader, leader and always has amazing dreams and visions and ideas about what could be. So I won't say a lot more. I just want us to learn about his business by watching a, a short video and then we'll interact with Ruben. So watch this video. I hope this works well enough. The story of our company began more than 10 years ago in 2006, when Ruben Marian, CEO and founder of Utilben, had the wish to develop a business that could help our country advance and prove that in Romania too, business can be done with integrity and character. Together with his wife, Juana, they invested all the money they had in their dream and managed to sell the first second-hand equipment one year later, using nothing but a website and a phone. Today, the company founded by the couple succeeded in becoming the biggest name on the Romanian market for selling second-hand heavy machinery, counting more than 5,000 annual requests from clients and over 400 heavy machines sold each year. Utilband's chief ambassadors, our current clients, add up to 1,200 constantly returning and recommending us in their activity areas. If up to now I talked about us and what we wish to achieve together, I will now tell you about what you stand to gain from this partnership. And then I will present what you need to do next. What do we offer and what are we good for? Anybody searching for second-hand heavy machinery in Romania heard about Utilban through broadly diverse marketing campaigns, from top searches in Google to televised commercials, from social website posts to videos presenting the machinery we sell. And if they still have not heard about us, they are visited by a team of specialized salespersons with the purpose of reaching the biggest companies in Romania. Our company endured and managed to thrive because it has been running on solid grounds ever since the beginning, namely on principles that were never ignored – honesty, promptitude and personal development. We plan to keep on doing that in the future as well. So why become partners? Utilben is the largest second-hand heavy machinery supplier in Romania, the market with the utmost growth potential in the European Union. We have more than 1,200 satisfied clients and over 10 years of experience, gathering each year 5,000 requests for second-hand heavy machinery purchases and selling over 400 heavy machines annually. We will never break the promises we made, even if it might cost us tens of thousands euros. Our partnerships are strong and we choose our collaborators carefully. We are a success story and wish to have beside us only companies built on integrity and character. We offer our clients a large range of services, new and second-hand heavy machinery purchases, accessories, parts, service and rentals. Thus, if you wish to have your machinery presented to more than 600,000 prospective clients annually, we invite you to become Utilben Partner. Great. So it's time to interact with, uh, with Ruben. Uh, welcome, Ruben. And uh, again, welcome, everybody. It's good to see you in, in such a large number. Uh, Ruben, it's great to, to see you. And thank you for um, being with us tonight. Hello, everybody. Hello, Elvis. It's a privilege to be with you tonight. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to talk together. So yeah, Ruben, it's, it's a really important topic, success, but integrity. And sometimes it feels like it doesn't go well together, but you are really driven to make integrity the foundation of your business. And we have heard a little bit from the, the promotional video you, you shared with us, but um, we'll have an opportunity to hear it from your personal business story and experience. But let me um, ask you first one question. What is one value that you actually started your business with when you were just at the beginning? What's one value that you started from the beginning? Well, Elvis, I, I, as you know, I started from scratch. So we didn't have money to invest in marketing campaigns or <laughs> uh, any other uh, forms of marketing. And uh, uh, 
uh, for me, I knew from the beginning that uh, we will only uh, uh, succeed if our customers will be satisfied and will recommend us uh, to other customers. Okay. So um, I think honesty uh, was um, uh, the first uh, value for us. And uh, for me, honesty means uh, always tell the truth, uh, even when sometimes you don't like it. Uh, so that your customer will remain your loyal customer for maybe 20 years or so. And uh, I learned that if you treat people um, fairly, they will treat you fairly in return. Mm -hmm. That's great. Honesty, such an important value. Um, thinking about integrity and, and this idea of success, sometimes people believe, and we have all kinds of ideas when we start businesses or even when we're in business one myth that i heard and i'm going to say it's a myth is that you cannot be successful unless you're corrupt another myth in romania is you will never be successful unless you know people high up in the state or uh, or you're not going to be successful if you don't make business with the state um, what was one myth that you believed when you started your business that you, you understood it's, it's not really true? Yeah, um, I think in, uh, in Eastern Europe, we have a common history and <laughs> we have all kinds of myths and legends and we like them and it's part of our culture and, uh, in business, um, uh, because we, we have a business with heavy machinery and uh, also road construction and so on. And um, um, the government, it's uh, a, a key player here. And at the beginning of the business, um, one of the uh, myths that I believed in was, uh, if you are not willing to pay bribes, uh, you will not be able to sign contracts with the government. And um, uh, for me, uh, it was quite a reality because, uh, uh, at the beginning, maybe the first five years, we had no contract with the government because uh, everybody was uh, waiting for some uh, gifts or bribes. And uh, I'm very grateful now that uh, uh, we have more and more contracts with public institutions and, uh, and government and things are changing already in, uh, in our region here in Eastern Europe. And that's a good thing. Uh, many other myths. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for, for, for example, uh, people were, were, were telling me uh, corruption is something normal because everybody uh, uh, is doing it. If, if you will not be uh, willing to uh, uh, give bribe, you cannot succeed as a business. And uh, you, you cannot achieve a certain level of, of success uh, or sales if you don't have strong uh, relation in politics. And um, uh, these are all lies. And uh, I learned that if you are really good in what you're doing, uh, you, you can uh, uh, make those uh, uh, lies uh, not relevant for your business. Thank you. And I'm sure, Ruben, you're going to share more about these myth, myths that we believe in in our country or in our region. Um, but uh, we, we chose, talking to, to Ruben about tonight, we chose to not come up, come up with a seminar, but actually talk about integrity and success from the perspective of, um, of uh, Ruben's and Juana's uh, business story and their experience. So Ruben, I understand you even have some pictures uh, from, from your business and different experiences that you've had that you'll share with us. So can't yeah. wait to, to hear. Uh, thank you, thank you Elvis. I, uh... I prepared um, uh, one moment. Uh, let me see. Can you see my uh, screen? Yes. Good. And before you start, Ruben, I just want to remind everybody to write their questions in, in the chat box. Go ahead, Ruben. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share. I, I prepared uh, some uh, stories from uh, our personal jury, journey in business, and uh, I'm looking forward for the discussion time. I only want to make a short introduction so uh, you, you understand better where we are coming from. 
and uh, uh, what were the steps that uh, got us here where we are right now. And uh, we are still in a journey. So uh, what I share with you, it's from our personal story. We are still uh, having many challenges and I will share with you also challenges that, uh, that we have. But uh, um, I, I, I said it's good at the beginning of discussion to, to know a little bit about uh, ourselves. So um, I'm married with Juana, I'm 36 years old, I live in Cluj-Napoca and uh, together with uh, my wife uh, Juana, we, we develop uh, more businesses here in, uh, in, in Romania in different industries. Uh, the biggest business is uh, Utilben. This is uh, one of our first businesses that we started in uh, 2006. And um, actually, it's very fun doing business in, in Romania because you cannot get bored. We have different challenges and corruption is <laughs> one, uh, one of our biggest uh, challenges here. Um, actually, I, what I realized is uh, uh, this problem is not only uh, here in Eastern Europe. We have it all over the world. And uh, you know very well uh, the scandals and the problems we had with the uh, Volkswagen diesel emissions in the last years. And for me, it was a shock to see how many millions of uh, machines were sold with the uh, uh, software that was a little bit uh, changed and show uh, right the tests. or. Um, I, I, I'm interested to see different stories about politicians in Eastern Europe. Uh, Romania, maybe it's, uh, it's in the top, but uh, I also see it in Ukraine, Moldova, Albania, Macedonia and other countries. Uh, politicians that created millions of, uh, of euros as fortune um, with money that they cannot uh, uh, <laughs> explain exactly from their salaries. And uh, the Panama Papers uh, exposed the darkness uh, uh, secrets of financial uh, world. And uh, I'm also a fan of uh, football. And uh, I was shocked to see FIFA officials that uh, were charged for money laundering and uh, deep rooted corruption. So uh, what I realized is we, we have a big problem also here in Europe with, uh, with corruption. And uh, Transparency uh, International revealed a, a report that said, uh, uh, people perceive uh, uh, corruption something like uh, 65 from uh, 100 as an average score. And uh, this is a, a big challenge for, for us. Uh, some countries are doing better than others, but uh, overall, overall, we still have a long way to go. And uh, lack of integrity in, uh, in business environment uh, led to different uh, acts of uh, corruption, bribery, uh, money laundering, and uh, discrimination. And this is not good for the business, because in business you want to have a similar uh, um, context, uh, and uh, if you are honest, you want to prove that uh, you, you can do it. And uh, yeah, lack of integrity, it's very demotivating for uh, honest business people. So uh, that's why, together with, uh, with WANA, um, we want to contribute to a change in, uh, in the business uh, um, environment by doing business with integrity and uh, character. We believe that it's possible to create a success business and also uh, achieve success being honest and uh, having strong moral values. Um, now I'm going to share a little, some photos with my uh, background, with my family, so you understand a little bit uh, uh, better where I'm coming from. Um, I was born in a, a small city in the northwest part of Romania, just on the border with uh, Hungary. Uh, my grandparents were farmers, my parents were also farmers, and uh, my dad wanted me to become a farmer. So uh, I learned from, uh, from my family that in order to harvest, you need first to plant and then to water, care for the plants, treat them, be patient, and uh, then reap the fruits and uh, enjoy the results of your work. The, uh, the first uh, um, business lessons I, uh, I learned uh, from my grandmother. Uh, I used to sell vegetables with my grandmother in the market. And uh, there it was my first experience with, uh, with the business um, directly in the market. And uh, I'm grateful for my grandma. Um, she was always honest and sincere with her customers. Um, she was very generous also. And uh, she, she was always uh, wanting to give a little extra for the, for the money. And uh, in the market, I understood that business actually means uh, relations between people. 
And if you will treat people uh, correct, they will treat you the same in, uh, in return. Um, I grew up in Romania just after communism. And uh, I think we have common background here in Eastern Europe. Um, I was five years old at the revolution in 1989. And uh, the people with money were mostly corrupt business people. I didn't have too many models of business people with principles and values. And uh, maybe this is because the first businesses were very opportunistic and they did not take into account the integrity or principle or, uh, or values. So um, I was still uh, interested in business and uh, in university, uh, together with Juana, we started our first uh, activity uh, in sales. Uh, it was a network marketing business and we sold uh, cleaning products and vitamins in order to pay for our living here in, uh, in Cluj, to pay for our rent. And uh, I'm grateful for that because uh, uh, this helped us uh, dream big. And uh, we learned how to write our uh, dreams down and uh, make pictures of them. And uh, also I learned how to treat the uh, rejections. I, uh, I understood that uh, actually uh, the, the results will come after hard work. And um, after university, uh, I, uh, uh, together with my wife, Juana, uh, I think it was in uh, 2006, we were working for a water drilling company. Um, we were very blessed with an opportunity to learn uh, business um, together with a family of uh, entrepreneurs with experience. I was responsible for marketing and sales and Juana was responsible for finance and operations. Uh, the business was very profitable and it grew very fast from four, I think, to uh, 50 people in approximately two years. But um, strangely, it went bankrupt because of the fast growth. The owners were not very prepared to manage the growth and success. Their hearts changed um, after making a lot of money and uh, they believed that they reserve, they deserve a lot of, uh, of things uh, because they worked so hard. They made no difference between their personal income and the uh, company's income. And after the best year in, in history, um, they changed their house, cars, and clothes. And the company started to have cash flow problems. After only six months, it went bankrupt. And uh, for me, it was a very important lesson. I learned that money and power can corrupt you. And uh, in business, there will be many times when uh, you will be tempted uh, uh, to follow uh, maybe self-interest instead of doing the right thing. I saw uh, the impact of uh, not res uh, respecting the promises and the uh, payments term agreed with uh, your partners and employees. Uh, so I understood that keeping your promises in business is very important because actually business, it's a relation between three people. And uh, if you want to build a successful business integrity, it's critical. Um, just after that, uh, um, me and Juana, we found ourselves without jobs. Uh, we were finally free because we worked very hard, maybe two years uh, from morning to evening, but uh, um, it was a very difficult moment for us because uh, we had no money, we had no jobs and uh, um, Actually, uh, this challenge uh, was uh, uh, a good context for us to take us out of the comfort zone and uh, help us go to the next uh, step in our career. So uh, that was the moment when I started to think about doing business and trading heavy machinery because I saw equipment in Germany that we did not have in Romania and technology regarding road, road construction and agriculture and farming. And uh, we were very way behind with equipment and technology. So um, I started the business with only an idea in my mind uh, and with uh, great enthusiasm. <laughs> I was very motivated uh, for the need to take care of, uh, of my family. And uh, um, it's interesting that many people believe that in order to start a business, you need money, relations, experience, or business education. Uh, the truth is that uh, I started the business with no initial resources, no money, no business qualification uh, or uh, support. Um, I started only with an idea in my mind and uh, with a lot of passion. And uh, 
it's interesting uh, because we had no money. We had to create something different. We had to come with a different idea uh, because we could not invest in the stock. So we, we changed the uh, trade business model. We promoted equipment and machinery directly online without having stock, without investing into stock. And uh, it's true, it was very difficult. Uh, it took us uh, almost two years to convince the first customer to pay 100% in advance for a secondhand excavator uh, from Germany that he only saw in photos. So um, in this time, uh, many times I wanted to give up. Um, uh, um, it was very, very, very difficult situation for us, but I'm very grateful uh, because um, uh, Juana always uh, stood there for me and, uh, and she believed in, uh, in, th in this business idea. And uh, also I was uh, motivated about the dream of building uh, a, a successful company. So um, even if we started small, uh, we had big dreams. And um, after we, we sold the first uh, machinery, we asked for uh, recommendations. And uh, this is how we grew. We offered great services for our customers. Uh, we were honest and professional. Um, at the beginning, uh, we had uh, uh, to do absolutely everything by ourselves together with, uh, with Wana because we didn't have uh, money to pay uh, uh, any salary. Uh, now, I'm grateful. We, we are a team of approximately 65 people only in Utilben. And uh, from one equipment that we sold in the first two years, now we, saw, we sell approximately two heavy machineries per day. And uh, I'm very grateful for this, uh, for this journey. Uh, being honest and having strong moral uh, values was our greatest advantage. Most of our competitors here in, uh, in Romania, uh, they did not keep their promises. And uh, what I learned is when there is a lot of darkness around you, a very small light can be very shining. And uh, this is uh, the main secret ingredient that help us go into the top of our industry. We kept our promises always, and uh, uh, we made sure that our customer were very satisfied with our services. Um, I, uh, I remember at the beginning of the business, how fr frustrated uh, I was because uh, uh, we were trying to do business with the uh, big dealers from Germany and United Kingdom. And uh, we were treated like Eastern Europeans. Uh, maybe it happened also to you many times when you see that uh, you're treated a little bit different. And uh, the truth is that uh, we don't have a great uh, reputation as a country for integrity and character. But uh, did this uh, was not an obstacle to stop us. It was more like a challenge uh, uh, for us to prove that we can be different. And um, integrity means having uh, a set of values and moral principles that guide our behavior. Uh, knowing the right thing, saying the right thing, and doing the right thing. Um, I'm also a believer. And uh, for me, integrity means respecting Christian principles and values. Uh, in essence, for me, those are uh, love, the Lord, your God, and uh, love your neighbor as yourself. And I try to respect these uh, uh, two uh, principles for me. And this always has helped me in uh, my personal relations and uh, in, uh, in doing business. And uh, I try to take this also to uh, our business. So that's why our purpose at Utilben is to contribute to a transformation in uh, our society uh, through business done with integrity and, uh, and character. And uh, it's hard to change uh, a, a country, but we can have an impact uh, on our employees, on our partners, and uh, on everybody that we collaborate with. And if we start a change from ourselves, then maybe we can influence others to change too. So uh, this is what is driving us and gives us energy and motivates us to go further. Um, I would now like to share some of the challenges and difficult periods. Uh, uh, it was not always easy. Doing business in Romania, it's a lot of fun. You cannot get bored. And uh, <laughs> we went through major uh, challenges um, from losing the apartment 
in the first year of business. Uh, <laughs> we lost their, uh, our apartment, the down payment of 30,000 euros. Everything we had, we lost it in the first year. Um, three times our machineries were stolen from our rental fleet. And um, we had many customers, suppliers, and also employees that wanted to cheat us. And uh, many succeed. Uh, <laughs> and um, at the beginning of the business, I was very afraid. My biggest fear was that we will not survive. It was very difficult. Actually, uh, many businesses start uh, in our region, but maybe after two or three years, they go, uh, they stop, they go bankrupt. So I was very afraid that uh, we will not have enough cash flow. So I was very tempted, uh, even if I had strong values and principles, uh, at the beginning of the business, uh, we did not pay all the bonuses on paper because I was afraid we will not have enough money. And um, uh, also, uh, uh, maybe um, now I'm looking, and, and it's fun for me, but at the, the beginning of the business, uh, all the licenses, uh, software, everything, uh, we, we did not pay for them because we said, okay, this is maybe for people in the United States, but here in Eastern Europe, we don't have enough money. So it's okay, we find them a, a, a pirated edition and uh, it will be okay at the beginning of the business. So. Uh, these were some of the challenges that I had at the beginning, but it took me a while <laughs> to understand that uh, I'm not the owner of the business. Even if I founded the business together with my wife and uh, we have 100% um, of the shares, we are still not the owners of this business. We are uh, administrators for a certain period of time and uh, I have to take good decisions and to lead well. So. Uh, this perspective of uh, being a good administrator uh, helped me take better decisions. And uh, uh, it was not giving from my money, but it was giving from company's money. And uh, when I realized that I did not bring anything with me into this world when I came, and I will not take anything with me when I go away. So then why not uh, have the trust and uh, live by the values? Because uh, people living by the uh, values and principles, they are more happy in life and more relaxed. And uh, this is what I wanted also for myself. And uh, we made many mistakes. I, I remember we made mistakes uh, bringing the wrong people in the company that did not have the culture of our organization. I remember once we, <laughs> we hired a top performance sales manager and uh, he was really good. I mean, in sales, he was really good and bringing great results. But after a while, I realized that we don't have exactly the same values. For example, uh, for him, it was not a problem to lie if this was in the interest of the company. And it was very difficult for me uh, to make a decision because I was trying very hard to build a high performance company. And also I wanted to keep our strong values. So I had to choose. And uh, at the end, uh, we end up letting him, letting him go. And um, I learned that honesty, values and principles are more important than business performance. And uh, in order to keep our values, we, we had to be willing to miss out some opportunities because integrity comes with a cost. Uh, you will have missed opportunities. You will lose contracts and money in order to keep your values and principles. And uh, um, as I told you at the beginning, even working with the government and public institutions were, uh, was a big challenge for us at the beginning because everybody was expecting bribe and they were very curious, why don't we want to pay? Why don't we want to sign these contracts with a lot of money? And uh, we had to turn many uh, offers down. And uh, this was uh, always a good chance to explain our great sales guys, why do we do this? And uh, in, in our business, we, we are always tempted. We have many temptations. Uh, I remember, for example, exactly like cars, uh, the equipment, you have clock on equipment that shows the number of hours. And uh, we, we bought uh, uh, some uh, machinery uh, from UK and it showed on the clock 3000 hours. But in reality, after we tested with the uh, local dealers here, in reality, they were 9000 hours, but the clock was showing three. And we were tempting to say, look, we bought it this way, let's promote it this way with 3000 hours. And it was very difficult for us to 
change uh, in the announcement to put 9,000 hours because we lost a lot of money there. It, it was totally different price. Um, also, uh, I remember last year, uh, concrete pump was stolen directly from our yard here um, in Cluj. And uh, even if we have cameras and everything, it was uh, incredible good operation during the night, uh, everybody with mask and so on. They came, they took it and they went, 50,000 euros loss. And I was quite relaxed because I knew we had insurance, but it was very interesting that uh, this machine was uh, bought exactly during changing insurances and uh, it was not covered. And the insurance uh, uh, agent told us, look, you could change the date on the uh, invoice and it will be covered. And we were very tempted to change the date on the invoice because it was 50,000 euros. And uh, I stood with Juana and we discussed, it was very <laughs> big, big temptation. And we said, look, we, we want to trust uh, uh, God that uh, even if we will not get it back, uh, still we want to keep our uh, values and uh, principles. So we did not change the invoice. Uh, we did not get it back. The police are still looking for it for one year now. And uh, we did not get money from the insurance company. But we are very grateful because we had the courage to keep to our values. And uh, this is not always easy. But values are always tested when you're willing to pay a price in order and, and to be willing to lose some money in order to, to keep them. So that's why I always, I'm trying to remain focused on um, and to have clarity on our values. And uh, um, that's why I, uh, for me, it's important to have clarity regarding who I am, where do I come from, where I'm going, and what do I leave behind? Because uh, I need clarity uh, in order to understand my purpose in life, my vision, and uh, uh, to be able to make decisions with integrity. Um, because actually integrity, it's day by day with every decision we make, uh, uh, this is, will be a lifelong endeavor. So um, for me, integrity really uh, helped us in, in business. We are where we are today because of the good name and the good reputation and the strong brand that we built based on the um, values and the principles. So. Yeah, this, uh, this is the uh, part that uh, I wanted to share with you. Thank and you. Thank you, Ruben. Attention. This is great. Thank you for your personal stories, hard circumstances, and lessons that uh, you were really generously uh, sharing with us. We'll take a few questions from uh, all of you, and please write them in the chat. But before we do that, uh, I have one question, uh, Ruben, that I want to ask you. So... As you look back, how did you see integrity helping you to really um, help grow your business in better customers, better employees, better results? Well, um, I think this was a, an advantage for us, Elvis, because uh, this is how we started. We, we, we had no, no not other chance. So um we were honest from the beginning and uh, um, customers actually like uh, to work with the uh, honest and uh, trustworthy companies because we all prefer to work with people with integrity and moral values because we we want our life to be more pleasant and uh, simple and not complicated so um that's why uh, I think, especially today, in, in, in such an environment that we live and so many uncertainty and change in the world, we prefer to have partners that are trustworthy and uh, that are honest. So I think more than ever today, uh, it's, uh, it's important to have strong, uh, strong values. And uh, this helped us. Uh, we are uh, market leaders today, and our plan is to develop several business uh, regarding uh, equipment and technology with parts, attachment, rental, services, auctions in Romania, and also to expand in Eastern and Central Europe, because mm -hmm. our vision is that maybe one day, one in 10 machines in Europe will be supplied and serviced by Utilben. That's great, and that's a great vision. Uh, so we'll take some, some questions from you. Uh, we have some in, in the chat. Um, 
And Aliona is asking, have you experienced any pressure from the corrupt entities? Well, um, at the beginning of, uh, uh, of our business, I think in the first three years, we had, uh, I think every six months, uh, controls from uh, finance, environment, uh, um, uh, people uh, working with people, different institutions from the government. In the three years, they pressed a little bit because actually in our industry, there, there is a lot of uh, fraud. But after they saw that we are doing the right thing and always explaining, we had different controls. We, once it was, uh, uh, they, they came in our office, uh, some guys, they, they said they are customers and they entered. It was like five guys. And then um, they entered in our offices. They presented some badge. Uh, they said they are from, uh, I don't know, some uh, searching for fraud. And uh, they took all our computers, they took all our documents, uh, studied them for, I don't know, five days and came back and uh, apologized. Um, because what it seems like, we, we had a, a transport, we transported with a company that was uh, working with some companies in Romania that uh, they were stealing equipment from Germany. And uh, they thought that we are that company. But after they checked everything, they realized that we were not. So we, we had many uh, uh, checks and so on. But... Uh, uh, we were never uh, uh, pressured more than uh, uh, we wanted to. So I think that being uh, honest and having all the answers with you and having all the papers and being able to prove everything, it's a great help. So uh, this was the story. <laughs> great, great. One more question from Sue Johnson. Um, she's asking is, is, what is one way to influence other company owners in your city toward doing business with greater integrity? Well, um, what I realized is um, um, it's very important, um, the relations, the close relations we have, we have with, with others. So what I started three years ago is uh, um, together with, uh, with some friends, uh, business owners in, uh, in Cluj, in my city, we started to go for a breakfast uh, uh, meeting once in two weeks, every two weeks, with our friends in business. So uh, we decided, look, uh, uh, we want to, to share our experiences with each other and help us remain focused on the important things. And that's why we have, uh, we, we have a book uh, that we, we choose maybe every three months that we read together. We, we share uh, um, questions and uh, we share stories and come with our personal perspective. And we do this for three years now. And uh, it's a great community that's developing that have the same principles, same values. So we see change around us. What we learned is we, we cannot change everybody, but we can be a strong influence to our friends, partners, and everybody that we collaborate with. That's great. One more question is, how do you deal with clients who don't pay or pay very late? Well, for us, it's simple because uh, uh, we started with no resources. So for us, um, in order to uh, sell, we need to ask money 100% in advance. And uh, of course, we could sell a lot more if we uh, created uh, terms of payment. But uh, even when we uh, grew, uh, we worked with uh, financial uh, banks and leasing companies. So we don't uh, give pay paying terms to our customers. They pay 100% in advance or we offer uh, leasing or credit directly from the bank. Uh, we know we could sell a lot more, but uh, this way we grew uh, um, safe and uh, very healthy uh, during time. So we, we don't have this problem. Great, great way. Um, another question from Christina. Uh, what helps you maintain the focus? I'm assuming Actually, on, go yeah, ahead. I, I, uh, I deleted by mistake. So what helps you to maintain the focus and clarity on values when dealing with speed and pressure? <laughs> Great question. Yeah. Thank you, Christina. Very good, uh, very good question. Um, well, um, what uh, what helps me it's uh, um, um, the context of refocusing and for me for example every uh, every morning 
um, I wake up and uh, I, I allocate the time uh, for myself, uh, reading the Bible, uh, praying, uh, meditation, uh, having a plan. And uh, I try to remember myself. It's very easy to forget uh, what are my values, uh, why I am doing what I'm doing, where do I want to uh, arrive at the end, and what do I want to leave behind. And uh, very important, what, what is the most uh, important for today? What, what are the priorities for today? Because otherwise, there are so many things to do. And uh, it's very easy to get confused or go in many directions. And uh, uh, my responsibility is to remain clear and focused and to be able to make good decisions. And uh, uh, for this, I need to have always uh, 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 clarity. And uh, it's not always easy for me, Christina, because I'm an action person and uh, I prefer to do and then to look what I did. But I'm uh, uh, trying uh, to learn how to go slower sometimes, uh, to wait, to be patient and uh, uh, take good decisions. So um, it's, it's, uh, it's regarding context and also the people around me. Uh, my wife is helping me when I lot in the discussions and I have around me people that I trust with whom I can consult and we can discuss. Because sometimes, uh, uh, even for me, it sounds a good idea. Maybe it's not, so it's not such a good idea on long term. So having mentors that uh, you, you interact with or other people that um, are kind of advisors for you. One more question, uh, Ruben. Um, how do you transfer your values and principles to your team members, um, to those you work with? Mm. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> this is a very good question. Um, I'm 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 still trying to find solutions here. So, <laughs> um, what I uh, what uh, of course first we are the example. So as a leader, we are the example, and uh, uh, we uh, we try to uh, promote the values and the principles and the, everything in our organization and the people we work with, and. Uh, for me, uh, uh, there are two important things uh, uh, to transfer the values and the principles. One is the system. Uh, in the system, I mean uh, processes and procedures where we define how we do things uh, because we want people to be able to make decisions. I don't want them to come and ask me what do I do here or here or so. We want the system to be so uh, uh, clear that people can make decisions from themselves. And of course, there will be mistakes, but uh, we improve the system every day. So first is the system, and the second one, it's organizational culture. Not everything you can put in writing, but you see how other people uh, do, react, take decisions, and this is part of our organizational culture. And we try to maintain a very healthy environment with uh, good people that uh, have the same principles and values. So we pay much attention to our culture, uh, and uh, uh, we look very closely when we hire somebody in the team. Our um, uh, system of hiring, our process of hiring, it's very complex. And we have many uh, meetings, many questions. We uh, take uh, all kinds of recommendations and we look from all kinds of views um, because it's important. Uh, it's like bringing a new member in the family, adopting a new member in the family. So it's very important for us who, who, do, who do we bring in the in the team. And then when it's here, it's important to give feedback uh, and uh, to um, try to correct all the, uh, the things that go wrong. And uh, I think one of the biggest tools uh, is how you fire people. <laughs> when somebody is not respecting the values, all the others are looking. So uh, I was very tempted to keep some people that were very good professionals, but not having the values. But uh, when we fire people, it's also a very strong message and the people understand, okay, we cannot do that. That's not acceptable. This will not be okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's great. Lots of great ideas that we, all of us can take from, from this. And uh, again, Ruben, uh, we, we wish we had uh, more time with you. And uh, I bet there's a lot of questions that you, you still have. Hey, just uh, very spontaneous here. Would you be available uh, for a, a question and answers time maybe in, in the following days if people are, are interested? Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, um, if you guys um, are, are interested, the rest of you, we can have Ruben maybe for half an hour 
for an hour to just ask more questions about this topic. Uh, it's hard. It's big. It's huge. Not not easy to to really get um, the whole the whole picture. But thank you, Ruben. This this was very rich and uh, lots of things for all of us to to leave with and take and apply in our own businesses. What what is one final thought conclusion? Uh, if you may, that you can share with us. <laughs> well, um, I think that uh, um, if uh, if we re remain with the idea that uh, um, we will always have a choice. Uh, for me, this was always a struggle. I would struggle between uh, short term short uh, short term gain and uh, long term gain. And uh, between my uh, self-interest and doing the right thing, and uh, uh, integrity, it's a lifelong endeavor. And uh, of course, it will come with a cost. And uh, you will have many missed opportunities. You will lose contracts. You will lose money uh, in order to keep your values and principles. But uh, the good news is that the, you know, at the end, this will uh, be your strongest advantage. And um, uh, also the people who live uh, uh, by principles and values are, are more happier uh, in life and live longer. So <laughs> it's a good advantage. And uh, always uh, uh, it's important to think, uh, who do I become in this uh, project or this business? Uh, because who do I become? It's much more important than uh, what I do and what business I'm, uh, I'm in. And. Uh, my vision is to see uh, nations transformed by business done with integrity and character. And uh, my dream is that maybe one day uh, Eastern Europe will become uh, a region uh, very attractive for business uh, development. And uh, I really hope that one day uh, young people from our region will uh, no longer have to go to work in another country only for a higher income. Because uh, my dream is that they will uh, have the opportunity to live a good uh, and meaning meaningful life here. And uh, this is not something that we can do alone. Only together, if we collaborate and uh, we build brick by brick together, we can make uh, a change here. So thank you so much for your time. Elvis, thank you for your questions. Uh, I'm very sorry for the translators. I know I'm uh, sometimes when I'm passionate, I speak very fast, but... Uh, Yes, uh, I'm sure that it's, it was not important what I said, it's important what they translated. So I'm very happy for, uh, for this opportunity. Well, thank you, Ruben. And uh, really, it's been a, it's been a great uh, evening and uh, great interaction. Now we'll go into small groups, into breakouts. Uh, but I just want to remind everybody we're doing something different. So we're going to put in the chat for uh, different language groups, we're gonna have a separate link. So Romania is gonna have their own Zoom link, Albania same and with every country. So make sure